Hi. I have a cup of coffee with me today um, because I'm doing the coffee book tag which was created by Bangity Banks and he's a really fun YouTuber. I, I subscribe to him and he, I also follow him on Instagram and Goodreads and he's he's really fun. I, I, I want him to be a friend of mine. Um, and I'm in my little coffee corner here so I can get a little cozy um, because it's actually here's my window but it's actually kind of cold out today it's cold and rainy you know because it's spring um, so I just thought I'd get a little cozy I'm also wearing a baseball cap today just because I'm I'm not having a good hair day and I just I thought putting on a little baseball cap will uh, well, kind of, I, I sometimes I wear baseball caps to cover up uh, bad hair days. So. Alright, uh, let's get to the book tag. First question is, well let me explain how it works first. Is that there are eight questions and um, the, the thing is that you're given types of coffee and there's a statement or a question that corresponds to it. And it's not like, because uh, most some tags are either just questions straight up or they're their list with questions that correspond to them. So this, uh, the first one is um, just black coffee. And that's name a series that's tough to get into but it has hardcore fans. And I don't have the books for this one because I don't think I'm going to read the books. But it's, uh, there's Divergent, um, The Hunger Games, which everyone is reading uh, uh, oh people are reading Harry Potter there's uh, like seven Harry Potter books um, and there's a lot of other fantasy series that people discuss on booktube and but I just know the the like two big ones are Divergent and The Hunger Games because the movies are out now and well they're not out now maybe I think Insurgent is but there's um, there's oh uh, I think there's one more Hunger Games movie coming out sometime, and I I don't think I want to read the books though. But I you know I'm th I'm thinking about wanting to see the movies. I just I just never got into that whole fandom. I'm sure the movies are good, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on now. So the next coffee is peppermint mocha. And name a book that gets popular around the holiday or the winter season. And I said this uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul book, and it's called Christmas Cheer. And it's all about Christmas stories. And um, there, you, you know these Chicken Soup for the Soul books. I, I have a few. And I I would say this book is popular every Christmas, every holiday season. But to me it is. I'm always reading these stories whenever it's Christmas. Just to get into the Christmas spirit, I don't often pick up this book during um, during a regular when during a regular year. Um, so I I don't think it's really popular in society or in in uh, book or literature world, but I guess popular to me maybe. <laughs> uh, moving on. Okay, the third one is not really coffee. It's just a hot drink, but it's hot chocolate. And that's uh, Name Your Favorite Children's Book, and I really can't easily say what that is, uh, just because I don't read children's books. Um, but I have The Night Before Christmas, because this, I, I mean, this, this could be considered a children's book. I've featured this once before. This is really weird. I have two Christmas up. It's not that the quest is a Christmas related, but I have two books that are related to Christmas, and I Easter is this Sunday, so I, it's just weird. Um, but I'd say this one. I love this Christmas story. It's it's classic, you know. It, it's a classic Christmas story. Everyone loves it. It's more of a poem, but um, it's quite a long poem, so I say it's a short story. And I just love it. Yeah. Every every holiday season. Well, I mean, this was really about children's books, so this was the easiest thing I could say. So the fourth question is, name a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. And that's, I said 1004 by Ben Lerner. Because uh, I read this in an even two weeks. From 
I I remember I started on a third. I started the Thursday I got this and finished it Thursday two weeks later. I know that. Believe me, I know that. And I was reading this everywhere I went. I really wanted to know what what was going on. It's a very complex book too. It's hard to. It's really hard to uh, understand for some reason. But it's it's kind of a complex book. But I still wanted to. This was a real page turner, and I was reading this everywhere I went, and brought it with me everywhere, anywhere I went. I I liked it, I did, and I really wanted to know like all this stuff that was gonna happen, and it's I don't know what's I don't really want to talk about this one so much because I'm not sure what's considered a spoiler or not. So so read this, and I really hope you like it. I have a bookshelf over here because of whenever I sit in my bed, I have a, I set drinks on that bookshelf. So number five is Starbucks, and that's name a book you see everywhere. Okay, I'm going to say this. I don't have this book, and I don't think I have a book that I've been seeing everywhere. Uh, I might, but I don't know how popular they might be. So I said The Fault in Our Stars, because, uh, yeah, when the movie was out last year, the, this this was everywhere. I saw it in every bookstore when it was set up on displays so so you can see it better, and, um, and as well as, like, I think I saw sections just meant for John Green, and, um, I and I was I was seeing it everywhere when I, when the movie was popular and I could have I could have said the same books I said for you know like Divergent and things, um, but yeah I because this movie was so good and every everyone was reading the book and they were crying while reading it and um, I mean you it, it's really hard to not cry while watching The Fault in Our Stars, or reading it, you're supposed to have like 20 boxes of tissues with you. Um, so yeah, this was a really, really popular book, book. and I, I, and movie, <laughs> too, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna move on, yeah. I wish I could keep this in the shot, because, um, this segment is meant for coffee, so I'm trying to incorporate some to coffee. Um, frequently. Number six is a hipster coffee shop. And it's to name a book by, or name an indie author, you, you think, and you'd like to give them a shout out. I don't exactly know what a hipster is. I'm seeing, I, I'm seeing that term everywhere, uh, like The Fault in Our Stars. <laughs> but, um, I don't exactly know what defines a hipster or what they look like, or what, how they behave, so I don't, I, I, this, this might be wrong, I don't know what a hipster is, but I know who's not a hipster, I just don't know what it means, but this is a book called, um, it's by a friend of mine named Doug, and, uh, he's, it's called Legendary Locals of Oak Park, which is a suburb of Chicago, um, and it's, Doug, I'll, I'll say Doug is not a hipster. Don't get me wrong about that, but he's he's a local author. Um, any I don't really see this. Questions is tricky for me because I don't know I if I have any books. I mean I know it's classified as indie if it's about an indie movie, but I don't know what indie books are uh, or like, what examples of indie books are. But I know this author. Not a lot of people know Doug. I mean if. Not a lot of people outside Chicago, that is. Um, and Doug, I, if you're watching this, uh, this is your shout out, and I'm gonna make sure that you see this. And and believe me, Doug, if you're watching this, you are not a hipster. I I don't know what a hipster is, but I know you're not one. And I'll I'll move on. Okay, that seventh one is um, it's really more of a statement. And it's, whoopsie, I accidentally got decaf. I'm sorry, bangity, I, bangs. I, I could have just said oops. 
I don't know why I just didn't say oops. But anyway, it's, uh, name a book you were expecting more from. And I said, uh, Sleeping Freshman Never Lie by David Lubar. And I was, it's not so much about plot or care or a storyline or anything. It's, re it's really about the character of Mr. Franca, who's one of the supporting characters. And I've, I've mentioned him before. And he doesn't show up much. Um, but when he does, he's very warm and welcoming and inspiring and encouraging and all these other ings that, that teachers are. And I, and he's, he's really nice to Scott. And, um, I know I have a teacher who I, think of as a Mr. Franca in a way. I'm not going to say his name, but, um, I, I just, it's, so yeah, I just wanted more, um, more plot maybe involving Mr. Franca, or I wanted, I wanted him to show up that more, because I, I really liked, I liked the character of Scott too, but, but I also liked Mr. Franca, and I wish we could have seen more of him. So the last one, the eighth one, is name a book or series that's bitter and sweet, but it's ultimately satisfying. And I said Forever Friday by Timothy Lewis. Oh, God. It's really the... I, I'm not going to say what happens, but it's really the end of the book that I just... It's, it's a good book. It's a really good book. It's great. But the end was really sad. It was really sad, but it was really beautifully written. And I remember it kind of... Uh, the day I read this, it was last summer, and I... I mean, the day I read that part in the book was last summer, and I was just bummed out. I was so bummed out, and I was... But it was so beautifully written, and I, I even wanted to be mad at Timothy Lewis because he... Because of what he wrote. And, uh... Oh... I just, I, I don't want to say that I didn't like this, I just didn't like that it was really sad, but it was, but it, I'll, I'll defend, back it up, that it was, it was written, you know, in words that were really sweet, and so beautiful, and that it was ultimately satisfying. I've, I've mentioned this book a lot. This is one of my favorite books now, and I've only read it once, but still, I love it. I really, really love this book. Oh, look at that. I finished my cup of coffee. Uh, so this was the coffee book tag, uh, and it was created by Bangity Bangs. I'll link the uh, original tag in the description, which was back in February, February so it's fairly new, and uh, I'll also write in the questions, too. Um, so I hope you like this, and I, in bangity bangs, I hope you liked it, and, uh, I will see you guys soon, so please subscribe. I'm gonna ask that every week. Okay, bye.